An accelerator, it's kind of like a hackathon. It's that chance for you to try and experiment with something new and code like crazy. We'll have experts in specific areas to talk about what you're trying to accomplish and to give you advice. We have a customer that asked us to do some smart drawings. We asked them to, to give it a try to, to APS, uh, but we are actually new to, to that technology and never used that before, so uh, this is why I decided to come here. The reason I came here was to create an automation tool for a configurator. So I had a model, I had designs that I wanted to put together into a product that were going to scale and expand, and I didn't understand that technology as far as how to use um, the, the inventor side of server on APS, and this really provided that space where I could come in and learn. If you've never been to a live one, you should really, really, really try to come to a live one. You don't get frustrated because you have an expert from Autodesk standing there looking over your shoulder. At one point, they were pinging people at Autodesk, like, hey, I need help with this. Let's get the expert down here. We got immediate attention. I was thinking, oh, it'll be a couple days. We got it right away. Having that person in the room and other people in the room, it kind of motivates you to keep working away. Reality is, your manager may say, no, you can't fly halfway around the world. So we do the virtual thing. You can literally work from your Sydney home and be talking to you know, some, somebody from the China team. That virtual accelerator really helps with making things more accessible. I know a number of people who went to one or two face-to-face, -face, got to know people, they built a relationship, and then they went virtual. We actually solved uh, the, the customer's problem. At the end, I learned a lot of stuff about the APS viewer, so I'm, I feel much more confident now using that technology. Just being in the room together was so valuable.